fellow artists and welcome back to Art at Home with Mrs. Kellogg. This week's art project is inspired by Martin Luther King Jr., whose birthday is January 15th. He was a very important man in American history. He worked very hard to help African Americans and all people of color to be treated equally, and he promoted peace throughout our country. I've included a link on the arts website about Martin Luther King. And I recommend that you watch that video before you start your art project. And I hope that video and this art project inspire you to learn even more about Martin Luther King Jr. I've also included a link to Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous speech, I Have a Dream. Now, after you watch that video, meet me over at my workspace because I'm gonna tell you more about the art lesson and the art supplies you will need. Here are two examples of our Martin Luther King Jr. inspired art project. And because Martin Luther King Jr. inspired and promoted peace, I thought we would create peace symbols. And if you've noticed, I've written words around the outside of our peace symbol plate. So the first title I have here is I Have a Dream, and that is from one of his very famous speeches. So I thought, what's my dream for the world today? So I added some extra words. So I want there to be kindness in the world. I want there to be love in the world. I want there to be peace in the world. So that's the project we're going to create. Now let me tell you the art supplies you will need for today's art project. You're going to need a paper plate. The size is up to you. You'll need a scissors and you're also going to need tape. And I recommend using painter's tape, okay? Because you can lay that tape down and you can peel it right off. So if you don't have painter's tape, you could use any tape that you'll be able to peel off the paper plate. Unless you have some fancy tape and you wanna leave uh, the tape down. The next thing you'll need is a paintbrush, watercolor, you're going to need a pencil, and I recommend a black Sharpie marker. And if you don't have that, you can always use a black crayon or a black colored pencil. So since we are going to be painting with watercolor, I recommend having a paper towel and a cup or two cups filled with water. And I also recommend, since we are going to be brainstorming and writing some words, that you want to have some extra papers for that. If you don't have a paper plate, the other option is you could take something round and put that down and use your pencil to make a circle so you can make a piece symbol. Okay, so that's another option if you don't have a paper plate. And the last thing I want to tell you about is don't forget to put down your art mat or newspaper on your workspace. Those are the materials you will need for today's art project. Now would be a great time to pause your video, get your workspace set up, and gather all your materials and meet me back here and we'll get started. Did you get your materials? Great, then let's get started. As I said before, we are going to create a Martin Luther King Jr. inspired art project today. And since Martin Luther King Jr. inspired and promoted peace, we're gonna create a peace symbol. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna take your paper plate so for example, this was my paper plate. That's the front side. I wanna flip it over to the back side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my piece of tape right down the middle to make two equal parts. Or think of it as that you're gonna divide the plate in half. So I'm gonna take my painter's tape. And if it's easier, you can cut the tape ahead of time. So for example, I'm gonna try my best to get it right in the middle so I have two equal parts. So I'm gonna lay, lay that down, okay? 
and then I'm going to come over on this side. And I think this is a really fun project to do with a family member. So that might be something fun that you can do together. Okay, so I have my scissors handy, so if I need to cut my tape like that, I can. So now I've got the tape set. So now my next step is, so I've got one half and one half, okay? Now my next step is I'm going to lay the tape down going diagonally this way and diagonally this way. So I'm going to take my shorter pieces of tape this time and I don't tape it down right away. What I do is I kind of figure out where I want to place it first, okay? So what I'm looking for is a triangle right here. Okay, so I'm trying to create a triangle in that white area of the plate. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. So now I'm going to place that down. So now I want to do the same thing on the other side of the plate. And what I, what's really helpful is looking for that triangle and trying to get the tape to touch each other right in that middle area. So see, now I've got my triangle in that white area and they look even to me. So I'm gonna lay down my tape now. Okay, so now once you get that done, your next step is to write the title of Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous speech, I Have a Dream. And if you notice, I've done that in pencil first. So I'm gonna write, I have a dream. So it might be helpful to write the A in pencil first, and then when you start to write the other words, for example, the I, and then I have a space, I write have, have a space, I've already got my A in to center everything, and then I have a space, and then I write the word dream. And I do this all in pencil first. So now might be a great time for you to pause the video and lay down your tape to make your peace symbol and then in pencil write the title of Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous speech, I Have a Dream. And then meet me back here and we're gonna add some more words and then we'll trace our words. Did you finish making your peace symbol and writing the title of Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous speech, I Have a Dream? Great, then let's move on to the next steps of our project. So my next step is I'm going to write some more words on the outside of my plate. Now, how I came up with those words? Well, I was very inspired by Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech, I Have a Dream. And in that speech, he talked about his dream and how his dream was that people in the world would treat each other with kindness and that they would treat everybody equally. What's your dream for our world? Or maybe you want to think about what's our dream for our country or our community? So think about that question. And when some words come to your mind, you're going to use your extra piece of paper and you're going to write those words down. Now, I think this would be a great time, if you'd like, to work with a family member. And when you work together and come up with a list of words, you can write them down. And then you can choose a few of those words to write on your plate together. Now would be a great time to pause the video, come up with your list of words, and then meet me back here and we'll start writing the words on the outside of our piece plates. And then we'll start tracing our letters. So after I made my list of words, I looked at how much space I had around the edge of my plate. And as you can see, I chose three words. So kindness, love, and peace. So that's what I'm gonna do over here. So what you wanna do is to have space in between the words. I'm going to choose a word and start writing them in in pencil.
I recommend turning your paper as you're writing your letters. So now I'm going to start tracing my letters, but what I like to do is um, make them thicker. So make them like block letters. Okay, so if you like that idea to make your letters stand out more, you can go ahead and do that. And then once you're done tracing all your letters, then we're going to start painting with watercolor. Now that you've finished writing and tracing your words, it's time to have some fun painting. So I always recommend mixing what colors you'd like to use first to see what happens and then start painting. So remember, it's watercolor. So you want to get your brush nice and wet. And for this type of painting, I want to use a wide brush if you have one. And remember, if you get too much water or too much paint in an area, you can always use your paper towel to blot out some of that paint. And you might even like the look, whoops, <laughs> you might even like the look of um, dabbing the paper towel on top. Okay, so I'm going to continue painting and I hope you have fun painting too. I hope you had fun painting your piece plate. Now, the next step is to remove the tape from your piece plate. But before you do that, you want to make sure that all of your paint is dry. And if you really like the look of the tape and you don't want to remove it, you don't have to remove it. Okay, so my paint is dry. So now I'm going to remove my tape. So there's my piece symbol. Now, if you'd like, you can go in and define um, your shapes more with your marker or your crayon, or you could just leave it like this. So I'm going to leave mine like this. That ends our art lesson. I hope it inspired you to learn more about Martin Luther King Jr. And remember, when you are creating art, to relax, have lots of fun, and keep creating.